So hello, in this video I'm going to make some M-chlorobenzoic acid and for this I'm going to use some potassium permanganate, benzoic acid and some 5.5 molar hydrochloric acid. So now that it has cooled, I'm going to filter it by vacuum filtration. So now I'm going to make some 10% uh, sodium hydroxide solution. I got about uh, five, 5 grams of sodium hydroxide, 45 milliliters of water. And this is to dissolve uh, uh, the free chlorobenzoic acid and hydrolyze any chlorinated quinones that have formed in this reaction. Because there are quite a bit of side products and this kind of chlorination. So now after filtration I'm going to acidify it with 20% sulfuric acid solution.
So now I'm actually going to analyze whether my uh, benzoic acid was actually chlorinated because uh, you know they all look pretty much the same they are all white powders and I could just have benzoic acid here so what I'm going to do I'm first going to mineralize it with some sodium hydroxide uh, melt it so all the elements like carbon hydrogen and oxygen go away into the atmosphere as, as gases you know carbon dioxide water uh, uh, but the chlorine will stay as sodium chloride so now I'm going to acidify it with some nitric acid and first I'm going to add some water The nitric acid concentration doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, it's acidic. So now I can add some silver nitrate solution to test whether there are chlor uh, chloride ions in solution. So as you can see the solution became, became white and murky and that's due to the formation of silver chloride so that is a positive test for a chlorine carbon bond so now that the uh, m-chlorobenzoic acid is dried I'm going to recrystallize it from water ethanol mixture So that's how it looks after uh, recrystallization. I just have to filter it and I'm going to be done with it. Unless I want to do a second recrystallization from petroleum ether. But I will see how pure the product looks. Yeah. So just to sum up this synthesis, this is the final product. It looks pretty pure. So after the recrystallization with ethanol I just uh, realized that it was actually pretty terrible because the yield lowered massively and it, it it really was not a good way to recrystallize it so I tested with a couple bunch of solvents and I found that toluene was pretty good because it, it uh, gave the best results so here's some of this crude acid dissolved in toluene and it's still waiting to be cooled and added to this uh, to the rest of it so mm, yeah I suppose that's it for this video see you next time